Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Cosby here from Black Cat Comics and Rockin' No Pitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to get down to your local comic shop and pick up something fun to read. This week is packed with stuff that's fun to read. Gotta start with the Marvel guys once again because this is Powers of X, number three. One of the two uh, books that's just lighting comics on fire these days. Uh, the resurgence of the X-Men is really great to see. Great to see all the fans coming back. Great to see everybody happy reading X-Men again. Uh, if you have missed House of X or any previous issues of Powers of X, you're totally bummed because they've gone to reprint and have totally sold out. So I hope this one is already in your sub box or I hope you're already in line at your uh, favorite local comic shop for this one because they've been going fast. It's a great time to be an X-Fan. And then lots of the women in Marvel to talk about. How about Ghost Spider number one? Everybody's been asking, uh, what happened to Spider-Gwen? When's Spider-Gwen coming back? Well, here's Ghost Spider number one. Uh, Spider-Gwen, Miles Morales, all this spider stuff has been just red hot since uh, the Spider-Verse movie took the world by storm. Great to see her in her own book. Jane Foster, Valkyrie. Going to be a lot of talk about this one. Uh, already is a lot of talk about this one. Got a couple copies of number one left. Going to want to get in here and grab number two. This is uh, the next big thing from Marvel, much like Magnificent Miss Marvel. Uh, the last issue of this one totally sold out. I've been telling you guys to pick up this book, everybody that's been letting it get by them. And then number five got by you and you all said, oh, why didn't she tell me? Everybody should be checking out Magnificent Miss Marvel, along with Fearless, the team up of all the great women of the Marvel Universe. Love me some Storm, and Marvel Comics Presents, another book that caught everybody off guard, another book I told everybody at number one, hey, grab this book, and then uh, number six, number seven, number eight got by uh, Marvel Comics Presents, everybody loves anthology stuff, Guardians of the Galaxy, continuing the Death of Rocket stuff, uh, still got a couple issues of number seven left, you're going to want to get in, grab this number eight. A lot of talk going on about Guardians of the Galaxy these days, much like Tony Stark Iron Man. It's about your only uh, Avengers-esque book of the week. Been really digging this title. Daredevil, number 10. Always talking up Daredevil, always saying that Daredevil is one of the very best books that Marvel does. Has been one of their very best books for many, 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 many years. Uh, this current arc is really awesome. This is the last uh, issue of the current storyline. So uh, if you haven't been checking out Daredevil, you might want to wait till number 11. But why not just jump in, see how this one wraps up before you start the next one. Like I say, one of the very best books Marvel does. I always say, go back to those Frank Miller trades, uh, Kevin Smith, Charles Sewell, Mark Wade. Some of the very best talent in comics has been working on this book for a long, long time. Uh, Bendis, Brubaker, on and on I could go. So if you're not reading Daredevil, you're missing out on one of the best comics there is. Absolute Carnage versus Deadpool is uh, the newest of many Absolute Carnage books to roll out. You loved the first issue of the main book. Uh, last issue we got a couple of, or last week we got a couple of spinoffs. Got another spinoff this week. We'll get a couple more to follow. I always say you don't have to follow all the side books to, to get into the main book. Uh, but if there's something that interests you, like this one, because everybody loves Deadpool, go ahead and check out that first issue. If it's not for you, hey, that's great. Like I say, it doesn't affect your reading of the main book. But, of course, if you do like it, well, then you got another great title on your hands. Good stuff there. And Deadpool Annual number 1 gives you a little more Deadpool if you've been missing out. And speaking of guys in red suits, there's lots of spider books to talk about. Superior Spider-Man. One of my favorite Spidey books, because... I always like books about the bad guys. And Spider-Man City at War is your video game tie-in book of the week. Because you just can't get enough Spider-Man. And History of the Marvel Universe number two. I think everybody was surprised at the awesomeness of number one. Everybody except me because I know this book's written by Mark Wade, And I know that Mark Wade is one of the top talents of comics one of the great writers of all time. If you read the first issue, it was a whole lot of fun. I mean, it starts with Franklin and Galactus kicking back. Come on. Great stuff. If you're going to want to grab the first issue, going to want to grab the second issue. If you think you know the entire history of the Marvel Universe, like I think I do, well, there's some secrets to be revealed in this book. So, like I say, grab number one, grab number two. Good fun. Death's Head number two from Marvel UK. And then lots of Star Wars to talk about, like Dr. Aphra, one of the coolest new Star Wars characters. 
came from the comics first, super awesome, or your last issue of TIE Fighter. Really been encouraging you guys to check out all the different stuff that Marvel's been doing with their Star Wars line. If you're a huge Star Wars fan like me, you're going to want to check out the main title, Dr. Aphra, the Age of uh, Resistance or Age of Rebellion books. This is your last issue of TIE Fighter, so pick up the Black Cat Pack of 1 through 5 to see what that was all about. And Savage Sword of Conan rounds out your Marvel stuff for the week. Always lots and lots of Marvel books to talk about. You know, DC doesn't have that many titles as Marvel does, but boy, do they pack a lot of punch in the books they have, like this guy. This is Superman Year One, number two. Everybody knows I'm a huge Superman fan. It's like DC made this book just for me. Frank Miller, John Romita Jr., two of my all-time favorite uh, creators, working on one of my all-time favorite heroes in this big, oversized DC Black Label style book. Really, really enjoyed number one, as I'm sure you did. If uh, somehow it got by you, you're gonna wanna grab number two, grab this week, or grab number one, grab this week's number two. If you are not a super, Superman fan for some strange and sorry reason, uh, this book just might change your mind. Great stuff. Batman number 77 continues the City of Bane stuff. You know we're talking about this book all the time in the shop, on the podcast, in our regular daily lives. We love Tom King. We love Batman. We're really digging this book right now. Uh, I know you're already following this one. Doesn't need much help from me, but... Hey, cool cover. And then let's talk lots of Year of the Villain. This is Black Mask. Year of the Villain, Black Mask number one. Another one of the, uh, this is the second of the Year of the Villain one-shots after the Sinestro one that rolled out a couple of weeks ago. There will be a whole mess of these villain one-shots like Riddler and Lex Luthor. All your favorite villains are getting a cool one-shot uh, sort of rippling out across the entire DCU. So even if you're, per se, not necessarily a Black Mask fan, you may want to pick up these one-shots and see what all the buzz is about. Nightwing, one of my favorite Bat books. Another one of your Year of the Villain books this week, along with Aquaman, another one of my favorite books. This is another book. If this one uh, has been getting by you, pick up uh, the last issue, number 50. Grab this week's number 51. If you love the movie or for some reason you haven't been following Aquaman over the years, now's a great time to be reading this book. Great stories, great art. And Teen Titans rounds out your year of the villain stuff. Everybody loves Lobo. Good fun there. Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen from a man Matt Fraction. This book is just a barrel of laughs. I really, really enjoyed the first issue. I'm sure I'm going to enjoy the second issue. I love the return of this one. I love the return of Lois Lane. Lois Lane deserves her own book. Jimmy Olsen totally deserves his own book. And, uh, you know, Matt Fraction's a perfect writer for this book because it's uh, irreverent, I think is the word. Great stuff there. Wonder Woman, Come Back to Me is your Wonder Woman book of the week. That is your uh, previously only at Walmart title like Batman Universe and Superman Up in the Sky. Uh, the Teen Titans one, there's a few of these rolling out. Lucifer is your Vertigo book of the week. That's part of your Sandman universe stuff. You know we love us anything Neil Gaiman around here. A little more on Surreal Neil in just a minute. Pearl is your Jinx World book of the week from Brian Michael Bendis. Because Bendis pretty much owns DC right now. And he's doing all the super books. He's doing all kinds of stuff. But he's also doing a lot of his... Uh, crime noir creator owned stuff over at DC under the Jinx World brand. Good stuff. And last but not least is this guy. DC is getting in the facsimile business. A little like Marvel has been rolling out uh, classic reprints of all-time great books. Now DC is getting in on it. This is uh, a reprint, a facsimile reprint. By facsimile we mean you get the original ads, you get uh, Pretty much exact duplicate reprint of how it was back in the day. This is the first appearance of Ra's al Ghul if you're any kind of Batman fan or any kind of comic book fan. This is a book that you're going to want in your collection and it's much easier to pay the $3.99 cover price than to pay a couple hundred bucks for the original book. Great, great week for DC. And an awesome week for all the other guys too. Finally, finally get a chance to talk up some Hellboy. You know I love Mike Mignola. You know I never miss an opportunity to talk up some Hellboy, some BPRD, some Abe Sapien, some Lobster Johnson, some Joe Gollum, on and on and on I could go. Loved Hellboy since uh, his first appearance back in John Byrne's Next Men. There I go, plugging John Byrne. Love me some Hellboy. That's your first issue of uh, Hellboy and the BPRD Saturn Returns. Make sure that's in your stack. Aliens Rescue. Because, uh, as I always say, Dark Horse sort of reinvented the licensed property stuff 
Uh, they do it as well or better than anyone, and Alien is a great example of them keeping one of the all-time great sci-fi franchises in comics. I promised you we would mention Neil Gaiman. This is your latest issue of American Gods. We love the book, we love the show, now we love the comic. Great stuff. A good week for the Image Guys, too. Criminal from Ed Brubaker. I love me some Ed Brubaker. Much like Bendis, he does a whole lot more than just superhero stuff. He loves the uh, dark crime fiction stuff, too. That one, Fair Lady, is our image book of the week, because we love uh, anthropomorphic crime fiction, good stuff. And Pretty Violent, number one, is your first issue, Gotta Have It, image book of the week, because there's always a first issue, Gotta Have It, image book of the week. Everybody should have one or 17 image books on their list, because Image does all kinds of titles that the other publishers just won't do. And a great week for Dynamite, too. You know, I'm a huge fan of Dynamite Comics. I love all kinds of things that they do. This is Vampirella number two, the latest reboot of uh, one of the all-time great sci-fi horror characters of comics. Uh, this is your especially cool Art Germ cover because everybody loves those Art Germ covers. If uh, you don't know much about Vampirella, now's your time to jump in. Grab that first issue of this new series. Grab the second issue. See why she's been around for decades, entertaining comic fans. And speaking of around for decades, Warlord of Mars Attacks. I love me some Warlord of Mars. I love me some Mars Attacks. I've been talking up what a great era of mashups this is these days, like uh, Red Sonia Vampirella versus Betty and Veronica, like Bionic Woman versus Charlie's Angels. Uh, now we've got this one, Warlord of Mars, Mars Attacks. It's a little bit ridiculous. It's a little bit awesome. Like I say, Dynamite just does all kinds of great things like this one, and like James Bond. Love that cover. Just had to throw that one out there to show everybody. Because who doesn't love James Bond? Transformers 84 is your IDW book of the week. IDW has been doing an amazing job with all this Transformers stuff, with their G.I. Joe stuff, with the Turtle stuff. All you 80s fans love IDW right now. Really fun to see Transformers uh, going back to 1984, like the original comic. The old Marvel comic from back in the day. If you love the Transformers, you're going to want to have that one on your list this week. Jughead's Time Police is my Archie book of the week. Been talking up a lot of Archie. Been talking up their horror line, uh, their uh, sort of PG-13 mainstream comics line. They still do all of the all-ages stuff that you've always known and loved. I love Jughead's Time Police. Pick up the trade paperback for the collection of the original Jughead's Time Police that ran many, many years ago, and you'll see why I'm such a fan of uh, the classic series, this series. I love anything Jughead, like this one, Jughead the Hunger, whatever you want to do. Love him in Riverdale. It's a great time to be an Archie Comics fan. Psylords is your Valiant book of the week. Always encourage you guys to check out all the cool stuff that Valiant does. And Fathom is your Aspen book of the week. Always like to mention uh, Aspen Comics and the great job they do keeping Michael Turner's legacy going. Love Fathom, Soulfire, all the good stuff that they do. Fun stuff there. And what an amazing week for the All Ages stuff. IDW is just owning the All Ages books this week. Let's talk some Marvel action line. Marvel and IDW have teamed up to do a line of All Ages books. This is Marvel action, Captain Marvel number one. If you've got a young reader in your life, or if you're just looking for something light, something fun, uh, they do all kinds of Marvel action stuff in an All Ages format. This is, of course, the first issue of the Captain Marvel one. This is Avengers number seven. We've got uh, the other six issues in stock. I'm always encouraging uh, parents and teachers and, and uh, aunts, uncles, whatever have you, uh, pick up your little readers a team book, something with a lot of different characters uh, so that they can find uh, the character that inspires them. Avengers is always good for that. Or, you know, you can't go wrong with Spider-Man. Marvel Action Spider-Man is uh, the third of this line, and they're all three new this week, so you got a whole bunch more to choose from. And Star Wars Adventures. See, IDW is just doing all kinds of great things in the All Ages line. You got Avengers, you got Spider-Man, you got Captain Marvel, you got Star Wars. What more do you want? I know what more you want. Scooby-Doo, where are you? Issue number 100. You wouldn't believe that Scooby-Doo's been around for 100 issues, but he has because he's awesome. Everybody loves Scooby-Doo and Shaggy and the Mystery Machine. 
Great, great week for the All Ages stuff. Always encouraging you guys to have All Ages books on your list. Lots and lots of stuff to check out. So make sure you check out those shipping lists. Get down to your local shop. Pick up something fun to read. That's all we got for you for this week. You can check us out on Facebook. Check out the YouTube channel. Uh, go to black-cat-comics.com and check out the especially cool Shopify store uh, and find all kinds of things that you can't find here in the shop. You can check out the podcast at soundcloud.com or just get on down here to the good old brick and mortar in Rockin' Milpitas. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.